Okay, so let's sit comfortably, as comfortably as you can. You can close your eyes or not, however you feel most at ease. We'll start, actually, why don't we start with my favorite reflection of all, which is, let's see who comes to mind. Uh, if you consider for a moment who all has been in any way involved in your being here in this room right now or watching this online, however you may be experiencing this. Because nobody really was walking down Amsterdam Avenue and saw a bunch of people coming in here and thought, I'll come in too, right? We're all here because somebody told us about their meditation practice or they gave us a book or they read us a poem. We're here because of conversations we've had, people who've reached out to help us, people we've reached out to help. We're here because of relationships, encounters, connection. So who all comes to mind? This moment is actually like a confluence of all that interaction, all those connections, as is every moment. We might feel so alone and so apart, but the truth is our lives are embedded in this greater fabric. So who comes to mind? It's like, who did you bring with you? Sometimes I do this reflection and I think about the Board of Regents of the state of New York, which gave me a scholarship, which is how I was able to go to college. And I went to India on a college program, which is how I learned meditation. Because they're part of why I'm sitting here right now. And sometimes I do this reflection and I think about those people whose actions have really, really hurt me. Not just the ones I felt like annoyed at, you know, but those times where I, I thought I'm really at an edge and I've got to find something different or I won't be free. Because they're a part of why I'm here right now too. That's the true context of our lives every moment. And within that context, we place our attention on our breath, that movement of air, which is linking us, and let it be the vehicle for our really uniting with ourselves in this moment. 